Hello again, Stumblers. I am Fru. And I'm Kyle. And we are here with another one of our Stumble Workshop Masterclass series. If you've been following the episode so far, then I'm sure you're already creating some wild levels in the workshop. If you haven't seen the episode so far, I would recommend that you go back and look at those first because the stuff we're going to talk about today is going to build on the learnings from those episodes. Today, we're getting into how to edit already published levels. We're getting deeper into customization with some of the more advanced toys we have, and we're going to create some interesting combinations with the different toys to create challenges for other players. Let's go. So how do we edit a level that we've already published? Imagine we've made our level, sent out our share code on Discord, people are already playing it, and then we get a brainwave on how to make it even better. How do we make that change when it's already live? Well, thankfully with the workshop, it's super easy. And to prove it, here's one level that I made earlier. It's published, it has a share code which people can grab too, but I want to make it even better. All I need to do is open up the tile for the level and hit edit. Depending on what we want to change, we can do two different things here. If we only want to alter the name or the description, we can change those and republish without any testing needed. If we want to change the content of the level, which is what we're going to do today, then we'll be asked to complete a publish test to make sure our changes are valid when the level goes live. So what improvements can we make to this level? I think we can use some canon action in here. And why don't we add some moving walls and platforms while we're at it? Let's see where that takes us. So let's bring in a canon and customize it a bit. On the canon, we can play with quite a lot. We can alter the time between shots, the power, the accuracy, and the original aim tilt. I think we want our cannons to add a bit of chaos in this level and have them fire into a moving platform path, so we will deal with our cannon after we know where the platform will be able to move. Looking at the platform, we can edit the axis it moves on, how far and how much we offset the starting position. So let's make this one a shorter movement path. That will make it easier to get our cannon set up after. Now that we know where the cannon needs to shoot, let's set the accuracy and power and watch this in preview to see if it's working as we want. Mm, it seems we get cannonballs rolling down the track where we don't want them, so let's put a couple moving walls behind this section to stop that. The walls are nice and simple as they work just like the platform. Let's set these up to alternate with a simple start delay and preview again. Finally, our last section is a little easy with just these spinners. Let's get some objects in there that the physics of the spinner can knock around a bit. All we need to do for that is go to our physics object tab in the catalog, grab a couple balls to roll around and drop them right into the path of the spinner. Now let's give this a publish test and make this live and update our level for everyone. Okay, and there we have it. A new share code which you can all grab again and play the level shown today. We hope this series has helped you become level creators in the workshop. The workshop's going to keep expanding over time. We're going to keep on adding more capabilities to it. And we're very excited to see what you can come up with over time. The Stumble Guys team will be back as we add more features, items, and game modes. I hope you enjoyed watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. See you.